you enjoy your miso soup or cultured coconut milk? Did you get a chance to read package inserts or ingredients list for artificial ingredients? Homework well done! We are now better cleansed, rehydrated, fortified with naturally occurring probiotics, and way, way cleaner than before. Great! Let's do something important. Balancing hormones is a big part of fun in functional medicine. Let's eat those great foods that will help you balance hormones. In order to understand hormones better, you could take a look at this chart. You will notice that cholesterol is important in hormone balancing. Today, we are talking about good cholesterol intake. That's a must. So what foods generally have good cholesterol and what foods generally help with balancing hormones? Avocado, extra virgin coconut oil, unrefined cold-pressed oils like olive oil, flaxseed or sesame seed, wild-caught fish, quinoa, organic eggs, sunny side up or two minutes soft boil to keep the yolk soft, dark green veggies, bright colored veggies, spices and herbs like cinnamon, ginger and turmeric. So get to love your hormones and start balancing them with some wonderful and delicious foods. The second part for this week is to do a light GI and colon cleanse. You can do that by adding great natural antiseptic foods like oregano oil, turmeric, onion, garlic, raw pumpkin seeds, cloves, extra virgin coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, thyme, green onions, raw carrot juice, pomegranate, and horseradish. How much is enough? Since this is only a quick fix four-week recharge program, you want to make sure that you eat at least one to two servings of the above-mentioned foods daily for the remaining of the four weeks. Your homework this week is to balance your hormones with helpful oils and oil-based foods. Also, to cleanse your gut with antiseptic-like foods. Till next week, my energetic group, I'm Ina from Real Health Solutions, wishing you a happier and healthier youth.